हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस लेट्स हैव अ मोमेंट ऑफ साइंस प्लीज टुडेज टॉपिक इज लाइट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट व्हाट इज अ मिरर एंड हाउ इमेजेस आर फॉर्म्ड laws of reflection types of reflection spherical mirrors that are concave and convex images formed by the spherical mirrors application of spherical mirrors types of lenses and images formed by them how rainbows are formed what is a light Light is a radiation or the form of energy that our eyes can detect. Light enable us to view our surroundings. Light travels from one place to another in a straight line. For example, if we look at the flame of the candle with a straight pipe, we can easily see the candle as shown in the picture. However, if we bend the pipe, we cannot see the candle and the light coming through it as the path of the light is blocked now. Reflection of light. Whenever light hits an object, it is either absorbed or reflected back. In reflection of light, the object throws back the light that falls on it, thus light changes its path. mirror A mirror is generally any shiny surface that can reflect back light A mirror that has a plain surface is called plane mirror The mirror that is curved that is either bulges in or out is called a curved mirror What is an image As the mirror ref- reflects light an image of the object that is in front of the mirror is formed on it The distance between the object and the mirror and the image and the mirror always remains the same As you can see in the picture there is equal distance between both of them Through this picture we can see that if we increase or decrease the distance between the object and the mirror the distance between the image and the mirror also increase and decrease along with it however the size of the image formed by on the mirror can vary with respect to the distance between the object and the mirror if the distance between the object and the mirror increases the size of the image decreases and vice versa an image is said to be erect if the image is formed is the same side up as that of the object as you can see in the picture the image is called inverted if it is formed upside down compared to the object as shown in the picture left right inversion of the image the image formed by the mirror is always left right inverted This means that the right side of the object appears to be the left side of the image and the left side of the object appears to be the right side of the image. As shown in the picture, the right hand appears to be the left hand of the image. That is why the word ambulance is painted as left right inverted so that it can be easily read by the driver of the vehicle ahead of the ambulance in its rear view mirror as shown in the picture. the laws of reflection of light incident ray the light ray that falls on the reflecting surface of or the mirror is called incident ray reflected ray 
The light ray that gets reflected back from the reflecting surface is called reflected ray. Normal ray. It is the line that goes perpendicular to the reflecting surface. The two laws of reflection of light are first is the incident ray, reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane to the reflecting surface. And the second law is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That is I is equals to R. Types of reflection. Regular reflection. In this type of reflection, the light ray that falls on the reflecting surface are reflected back in a particular direction. The reflecting rays are always parallel to each other. This generally happens in case of smooth and shiny surfaces. Irregular or diffuse reflection. In this type of reflection, the light rays that falls on the reflecting surface are reflected back in different directions irregularly. This generally happens in case of an irregular or rough shaped objects. Spherical mirrors Spherical mirrors appear to be sphere-like in shape. They are of two types. Concave mirror It is a sphere, spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. As you can see in the picture. Convex mirror It is the sphere the spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards. So you can see in the picture concave mirror reflecting surface is inwards and convex mirror reflecting surface is outward curved. The image formed by the concave and convex mirror. An image can be of two types real image and virtual image. Real image is formed when the light rays reflect and meet at the same point. Virtual image is formed when the light rays reflect and diverge from the same point. Real image can be viewed on the screen. Virtual image cannot be viewed on the screen. Real image is always inverted. Virtual image is always erect. Real images are formed by concave mirror. Virtual images are formed by convex, concave and plane mirrors. As you can see in the picture, the real image is formed by the two rays reflected and joining at same point. Whereas the virtual image is appears to be joining the reflected rays appears to be joining at the back of the mirror thus forming the virtual image the image formed by the concave mirror has the following properties it can either be real or virtual it can be either inverted or erect it can be the same size as that of the object or larger or smaller than the object as you can see in the picture. The image formed by the convex mirror. It is always virtual. It is always upright or erect. It is smaller in size as that of the object as you can see in the figure. Application of concave mirror. Concave mirrors are used in shaving and makeup mirrors, dentist mirrors, 
torches and light beams and solar furnaces to produce heat application of convex mirrors they are used in the rear view mirror of vehicle shop security mirrors microscopes and magnifying glasses lenses a lens is a part of reflecting material like glass or plastic but curved from both sides unlike mirrors that have reflecting surface only on one side depending upon its shape the lenses are of two types convex lens a convex lens is curved outwards as shown in the figure it is thicker in the center and narrowed down at the edges therefore known as converging lens as it converges the light concave lens it is curved inwards as shown in the picture it has a wider edge and a thinner center it reflects back the light that travels through it in different directions therefore also known as diverging lens images formed by the lenses a convex lens forms an image that is real inverted and larger appear appears close to the lens as shown in the picture both the picture the images are larger than the object concave lens formed an image that is virtual erect small and appears far away far away as shown in the picture the image images formed are smaller than the object what is a rainbow a rainbow appears as an arc in the sky that contains a band <coughs> band of seven colors of web gear as we all know it a rainbow is a natural phenomena in which sun rays are reflected and refracted by the water droplets present in the atmosphere <clears throat> how rainbows are formed rainbows are formed when sunlight is scattered by the water droplets through a process called refraction refraction occurs when the light from the sun change direction while passing through the medium denser than air that is water as you can see in the picture once the reflected light enters the raindrop it is reflected off back and then refracted again as it exits from water to the air medium and travel to your eyes this also means that sunlight or the white light is separated into diff seven different colored light due to reflection refraction which is also called spectrum of light this spectrum of light can be seen in the rainbows prism as shown in the figure soap bubbles or surface of the cd thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe